In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a custom domain to Vercel. So I've added my GitHub project. It's already been imported, it's here. Now you wanna click on the project inside of Vercel that you want to connect a custom domain to. So I'm gonna connect a domain to this one. So I'll click inside of this project. This project, if we just click quickly visit it, is just a very simple to-do list created for this example. Now what you need to do, you can see by default it's using the Versal domain. We now need to go to settings in the top right hand corner. Then we go to domains. Then we can enter in the domain that we want to add. Here is the default domain. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to your domain registration company. I'm using Hostinger. You can use any domain registration company. Go to domains in Hostinger, go to domain portfolio, and then choose a domain you want to connect. I'm going to use this one here, learningforaliving.com. So if we click on that, we can copy this domain. You can also type it in, but I'm just going to copy it just so there's no mistakes and we'll paste it into here. So now once you've pasted it, click on add, and then it's going to give you some options. You can add www.yourdomain.com and redirect it to yourdomain.com. This is recommended. I would also recommend this. So choose this one, then click add. Now it's going to give you two ways that you can connect it. The first one is by adding the DNS records. The second one is going to be by adding name servers. Now I've tried to add it with the DNS records. I don't know why it's not working for me. The easiest way and what I recommend that you do is just choose name servers. And then here it's going to ask you to enable Versal DNS. So go ahead and click enable Versal DNS and it's going to then tell you your current name servers. These are going to be the name servers which are currently connected to your domain. We're going to then set the name servers to the Versal ones. So we're going to copy the name servers from Versal. You can do this later, but now you need to navigate to the name servers currently which are associated with your domain. So here we are inside of Hostinger. Now for me, I go to domain portfolio. I go to my domain. I then go DNS slash name servers. And for me, we're looking for the name servers section. This will be different depending on what domain registration company you use. But I'm going to click on change name servers. For me, we're going to click change name servers and use the custom ones. Now we need to first copy the first name server given to us by Vercel. And we'll replace it here with the first hosting a name server. So there we go. We've replaced number one. Now let's copy number two and we will replace this as well. Okay, so now we've done that, we'll click save and those should be updated. You can see those have changed. It can take up to 24 hours for the effects to go into place, but don't worry. Click close and you've done what you needed to do. Now we'll go to Vercel and we'll go ahead and refresh. You can see it's already trying to refresh here and you can see it looks like it has updated and everything should be connected. It's generating the SSL certificate, which can take a while. So just be patient, but an SSL certificate will be generated automatically. It says, good news, your DNS records are set up correctly, but it can take some time for them to propagate globally, which basically means it might not be working straight away, but we'll copy it. We'll go to incognito and we'll just see if it is working. So we'll paste our domain and it goes to our to-do list. So that's how you do it. Do it with name servers. It is much easier.